Hi folks, this is Dockery612 here. I'm going to show you how to determine range without using uh, the Stati meter uh, and uh, without any help from the Minimap, your crew, or the uh, TDC. Alright, so I have a uh, merchant ship contact out there and I'm going to go to my attack periscope here. Notice how I have no contact showing. I have uh, no assistance on. Let me go ahead and uh, raise my attack periscope. Okay. You can raise your attack periscope to the uh, horizon. Uh, that will help with this, with this application. Okay. So there is my immersion ship. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to identify this ship. Having uh, played this game a little bit and uh, being um, familiar with uh, Ship Recce, this is a uh, Liberty ship. But just to show you, let me go ahead and pull up my Ship Recce. Okay, this is a Liberty warship here. We want to look in this case, uh, in this um, tutorial, we want to look at the uh, mast height. Now, this guy is not, this is not the Liberty ship that I'm looking for. I want to look at, uh, this is a British ship, though. This is how I know that this is, this is a ship. And notice that there's a British flag here. So, his mast height in this case is 27.1 meters. So let me start the game. So what I'm going to do is use my 1x power here. And uh, I want to uh, select his tallest mass, which is going to be this one right in the front here. So that's 27.1 meters from the top of the mass to the uh, water line. And I'm going to line up crosshairs with the top of the mast. Just about right there. And I'm going to look over to the left where these little tick marks are here. See where my cursor is? Each tick mark is about uh, one degree of arc. Okay? So I want to see how many degrees of arc is it to the water line of, of the ship from where my crosshairs are. So I'm going to actually move the ship over a little closer to the crosshairs and line it up with the mast like I did before. Okay. And you can see I'm about uh, one and two-thirds uh, degrees of arc. Okay. So about 1.66 degrees of arc. I'm looking right in here. This is one, that's two, and then that's where the water line is. So we're going to use 1.66 degrees of arc. I've already calculated speed uh, using the method that uh, I showed you in my other tutorial. So I'm going to shell out to my calculator here. Okay, so we're going to take the tangent of 1.66. And that's 0 0.02 or 0 0.028. Okay, it's important to be accurate uh, with this calculation. So I'm going to keep it at about uh, three decimal places here 0 0.028 or 0 0.029. Okay, so we're going to uh, divide uh, 27.1 by 0 0.029. I'm going to round up. I get about 934 meters. Okay. So he's at 934 meters. He's doing six knots. Okay, so I'm going to put it at six knots here. A manual. 942 meters. It could be within 50 meters, that's fine. 900. 
142 meters almost exactly. Okay. Now, uh, I'm just looking at the ship, he's crossing from right to left. I've got a, uh, a very clear, uh, view of his beam on the side of the ship. So he's going to be anywhere between, uh, oh, 60 and, uh, 120 angles off the bow. So I'm going to split the difference there and say that he's going to, he's at about 80 at this point. I'm going to put my crosshairs right here at 25 uh, degrees. And I'm adjusting my bearing right now. That. Okay, now I'm just going to open my torpedo doors and shoot. I want to shoot right now, actually, while my crosshairs are uh, in the center of the ship. I'm going to re uh, lower the depth or increase the depth of my torpedoes a little bit so I can uh, sink them a little more efficiently. Okay. I should be able to hit this guy. Take a look at him. Speed up the game a little bit. Okay, so that's how you determine the uh, range of a ship uh, without use of any help. By uh, using some old uh, tactics and just using the hash marks here on your on your periscope. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have fun with it. Bye.